Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, not as stuffy today, so that is exciting. I also just snorted some Afrin so I can breathe. So this is the sketch that I'm using from 30 Days of Sketches. It's actually from the 18th, but it's fine. Everything's fine. I am going to be using these two photos. Um, so this is the nachos and frozen margarita that I had uh, when we went to Vegas in December. Now the sketch has the photos cut into hexagons. I'm not down with that. Um, so I am going to use the Beehive stencil from Scrapping Reflections. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I am going to start off with a couple different glitter glazes. Um, one is Crunchy Leaves, which was a limited glitter glaze back in the fall. And then I'm going to add a little bit of emerald. Now, this is the old emerald, um, not the new emerald. The old emerald comes in the little plastic lid at top. Um, and glitter glaze is now in a um, metal lid at top. So there it is. So I'm just going to place the leaves over top of the orange areas and then I'm going to place the green over top of the green areas. And I'm using that beehive stencil from Scrapping Reflections just to represent those hexagons here uh, in the sketch because I'm not cutting my photos in hexagons. I Most of the time I refuse to cut my photos into circles or ovals, so why in the world would I cut them into hexagons? I don't know, but I'm not going to do it. Um, I don't wait for the glitter glaze to dry. I just go right ahead and um, get going with my photos. I pull two 6x6 six six pieces of paper. I don't know where they came from. No idea. They're just in my 6x6 six six paper uh, area. And I'm going to cut them down uh, after I cut down my photos to 5.5 by 4. That way my photo mat is going to be 4.5 by 6. So I have some dots and then this one has an ampersand. And I decide that I like the nachos over top of the margarita a little bit better. It fits a little bit better um, visually for me. And then I am going to adhere it to my background here but then I decided you know what I need to put some fun foam on here and then I was like whoops I put my fun foam and my scissors right on top of my wet background it's fine so I just go ahead and put the fun foam down it's got a little tiny little bit of glitter glaze on it it's fine um, and then of course I'm going to use that Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to go ahead and um, get my photos down onto the page. So I do kind of place it in the same area of in the sketch. Now I have this little banner piece that says a little me time. And sadly the one little banner piece is ripped on it. Now you could have just thrown that into the bin and you were like, I'm done, it's not worth it. Um, but I decided that I was going to keep it and cover up um, the little rip part that way I could make something happen. So I've got a couple different sticker books. I've got two different Amy Tangerine sticker books and I've got this I Am Happy sticker book from Simple Stories and I have just started to decide that I'm just going to grab some sticker books, pull them over, and no matter what I got to use some stickers from them on the layout. Um, it's just I just got to do it. Like That's the only way I'm going to be able to get through supplies, right? And I noticed that I can grab a sticker sheet or a small sticker pack or something like that and I can um, go through those, you know, pretty pretty quickly and, and condense and stuff, but the sticker books just sit and sit and sit. So that is what I'm going to do is just, I'm gonna grab a sticker book that has coordinating colors and make it happen. Um, and then, these are also clear stickers, which you guys know kind of drive me crazy. I have a love-hate relationship with them. Um, for this layout, they worked out fine. I didn't feel like I had to mat them on anything. Um, so I felt like it was fine. Now, I did add those two little sticker tags above the photo. So don't worry your pretty little heads. Um, they will not have naked tag holes. I'm not going to do that whatsoever. But I made this little cluster of stickers up here in the upper left-hand side since there was a cluster in the sketch. Um, there is a little bit down here on the lower right-hand side as well, which is why I'm, I'm choosing some stickers down here. Um, I've got a little heart one. It says the best. And then I eventually add a sticker that says today was completely 
epic and it has an orange star on the end of it. Now I decided that that was super cute right there. So I just put it right on top of the glitter glaze. Um, that is not completely dry. Then I went ahead and added two tags and I chose um, the word fabulous. It has an orange heart. So I placed that over top of the orange tag um, and then the teal heart over top of the teal tag. So now I am trying to come up with something a little bit better than just plucking that camera down uh, over top my little torn piece. So I decided to put keeping it real down and then put the camera uh, down on top of that as well. I'm going to grab just a couple more little stickers and place those down. And then for the most part, I am done with this layout. Like while I'm putting my stickers away, I'm looking at the layout. I'm trying to decide, do I need to add enamel dots? Do I need to add splatters? Do I need to add rhinestones? Do I need to add sequins? And ultimately I decide I don't need to add any of those things. Um, because my glitter glaze is going to give me that little extra pop of fun and sparkle. Um, and you can kind of see as the glitter glaze is drying, you don't have that milky white uh, whiteness to it, like it's clear. So it's looking really fabulous. Uh, and then I was like, oops, can't have naked tag holes. You know we can't have naked tag holes. Sorry for the sniffles, guys. It's not completely, not completely good. Um, but the Afrin's letting me breathe. The Afrin is letting me breathe. Um, so I put on the uh, two little bows on my tags and now I am going to journal and I'm just, what happened was I went to um, Las Vegas with Christopher while he was working um, and I went to the Mexican restaurant in the New York, New York and had nachos and this frozen margarita and it was delicious. And that's all I basically wrote in the journaling. So there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining. Thanks for dealing with my allergies with me all week long. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video.